Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes has the reaction on Capitol Hill, where the House and Senate Intelligence Committees and the Senate Judiciary Committee are conducting parallel investigations. This is what uh, Bob Mueller was tasked to do. Republicans gave the special counsel a wide berth today. No reason not to trust him. As Democrats argued, the indictments and guilty plea are proof of a pattern. Of people affiliated with the Trump campaign lying about their connections with the Russians. Adam and Schiff is the point, top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. He told CBS News today that Manafort's shady financial dealings did not end when he went to work for candidate Trump. During the campaign, while he's campaign manager, he's trying to obtain more money uh, for his work for these pro Russian interests in Ukraine, uh, money like that which he has now been indicted for laundering. Republican Richard Burr is running the Senate's Russia investigation. He says Papadopoulos was a person of interest in his probe as well. Democrats argue it's time to pass a bill protecting special counsel Mueller from a presidential firing. The investigation must be allowed to proceed unimpeded. Republicans say the president knows better than to try that. The president should let the special counsel do his job. But they'd still rather talk about almost anything else. Not, that really isn't our job. Texas Republican John Cornyn. Do you think that this impedes the president's ability to do his job? I don't see how the indictment changes the president's ability to do his job. There is a process for this to go forward, and I trust that it will happen. The White House said today the president has no intention of firing Mueller and Republicans here on Capitol Hill say that's a good thing. In fact, the president's recent golf partner, Lindsey Graham, said a short time ago that there will be, quote, holy hell to pay if Mueller is released without any reason. Anthony. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Thanks.